This betrothal, one to the other, Joseph and Mary, be blessed and sanctified according to the law of Moses and of Israel. Amen. Amen. Therefore, the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. Father, when will this prophecy of Isaiah be fulfilled? The time of fulfillment is very near. You mean a virgin will conceive? Yes, my child. Everything will happen according to the word, because God promised and swore it to our father, Abraham. Sarah was barren and old, yet she has conceived a child according to the promise. Nothing is impossible for God. Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be, since I've had no relations with a man? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. be to the Lord our God. He has helped Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. 
my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The angel said, Elizabeth has conceived a son. Praise be to you, Lord. Mother, shall I visit her soon and help her? She's very old. Hmm. Give her our greetings. I shall prepare everything for your going. You get ready. looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. Mary. Elizabeth. Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me? that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Look, the child is jumping with joy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's loneliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. I won't believe it, but it's true, Joseph. 
please, please do not tell anybody. Don't worry. But I I'll be responsible for her public disgrace. What will I do? I don't know. I must dismiss her quietly. That may be the only way. There may be something mystical in it. We don't know God's ways. Mary is a holy woman. Everything will happen according to God's wish. Please wait before you take any decision. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful deeds. This is a poor house. We have to manage with this. O oh God, that I may proclaim your might to all generations yet to come. Your power and justice, God, to the highest heaven. You have done great things. Oh, God, who is your equal? The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, oh how, how happy, happy we, we are. are. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient times. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord, his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. So Isaiah prophesies, rise up in splendor. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel. 
there is a decree that all of us have to go to Bethlehem to be registered for the census. They are making announcements about it everywhere, but how can we go at this stage? Praise be to you, Lord my God. The prophecy will soon be fulfilled. Oh, Bethlehem! We must go soon. I am ready. Sit here. I'll find a place. Uh, what do you want? Please be kind to me. 
We need a space. My wife is in labor pain. No, no, no. It's full. We don't have space here. We already have too many people. Please look another place. Don't let others inside. Consider. Help us, Lord. Help us. Please be kind to us. My wife is in labor pain. We desperately need a place to rest. Please, give us some space. I, I cannot help you. The entire town of Bethlehem is overflowing with people who came for the census. Everything's busy around here, and I don't think that you will get a place tonight. No room for us here. How do you feel now? Are you capable of moving to another place? No, I... No, no, I... I can't! Look, it's no use trying to find a place here at this hour. I'll show you a place. Have you seen the fire in that place in front of a hut? Yes. Go behind that hut. There's a place which you can use. Of course it's not an inn-like place, but it may be useful for you now. It is a stable. Shall we move there slowly? Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. We are here to see him. Don't be afraid. 
We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Please accept our small offerings. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests.